Good morning, everyone. We are here. It is Service Sunday, and we are getting ready to go on our community prayer walk in just a short little while, I think in about 30 minutes from now. I just want to take uh, really, I think this will take about eight minutes, um, and I want to just share with you a little quick send off, and then we will all go to our, uh, our prayer locations and get the thing going. Um, you may see that I am sporting, proudly sporting my Sioux Free Methodist uh, Sufi Methodist Church t-shirt, but I am not wearing it uh, for the sake of the prayer walk coming up. I'm actually probably not going to be wearing it during the prayer walk itself, but I wanted to take um, an opportunity just for us to remember that this is Service Sunday. This is something that uh, that we as a church family have been given to do. We feel that the Lord wants us to, to do this, and, um, and so that's why we're doing it. So this is part of how we're showing God's love to our community. Um, I will not be strutting with this on later, but, uh, but I want us to remember what we're, what we're doing this morning. Um, so I, I want to share with you too, that really fun kind of way things have progressed. Um, I got to share about the community prayer walk on KFM radio station on Friday. Maybe you got to hear that Friday morning. So we got to spread the word that way. Maybe there'll be even more people that'll be taking part in this. I have heard from, uh, I think it's about well, uh, anyway, it's a good handful of different churches in town that are going to be taking part in this in, in one way or another. All different traditions, all different streams of within the body of Christ. So I'm loving the fact that this is becoming a really all whole body of Christ thing in Sault Ste. Marie. And we've even heard from other people that um, they may not be connected to a church family, uh, but they, they are believers and they want to uh, be part of this as well. So we're really glad for that. And I want to remind you before anything else, just so you don't forget, next Sunday is going to be an unusual Sunday. Next weekend is the our annual, uh, sorry, not annual, usually happens every three years, Free Methodist Church in Canada General Conference. And because of the unique nature of it this year, because of COVID-19, you are welcome to attend that as a, an online guest. I'd encourage you to attend it because you can actually get a feel for what the Free Methodist Church in Canada is focusing on in this season their kind of ministry plan coming up, some of the different themes and topics. Um, so I'd really encourage you to be part of that. But what I definitely would like you to attend is the Sunday service that the Free Methodist Church in Canada National Service is um, is putting together for us. That's how we're going to be worshiping next Sunday. So tune into that. There is a link that's been sent out to your email and you can Tune into that kind of the same way that you would normally tune into our Sioux FMC services, but it'll be just the national one on Sunday. Okay, so tune into that. All right, so very brief, short little passage here I'm going to share with you. So let me see if I can screen share my screen with you. Okay. So maybe you guys know this one. This is a, a passage from John 14, 12. Jesus is speaking and he says this really profound, maybe hard to believe thing. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I've been doing and they'll do even greater things than these because I'm going to the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I've been doing and they'll do even greater things than these because I'm going to the Father. I've heard people interpret this a number of different ways. Some people look at the miraculous side of it, the miraculous things that Jesus did. Other people look at the numerical side of it because the the gospel will spread to many people and there will be more and more disciples and so there will be a greater impact internationally and in missions and things like that. Um, and then others have seen it interpreted as um, various ministries growing, different kinds of ministries and organizations that are doing kingdom work in the world. All of these are true. All of these are part of this. But I would love for us to think about how maybe our community prayer walk that we feel that the Holy Spirit has prompted us to do in this season could be part of that more. Part of that, that the greater things that God wants to do. I wonder, let's, let's use sanctified imagination and wonder what God might do through the prayers of his people uh, in our church and in other churches in, in the Sioux um, just even this particular day. And we want to hear, actually, if there are specific testimonies or things that come because of this. But anyway, in light of this uh, passage, there was someone in our Wednesday night prayer group that shared a song that we sang together. 
And uh, you may be familiar with this song, or maybe you're not. I don't think we've sung it too many times at our church, um, but I'd like to sing this for you and with you, and I'll have the lyrics up on the screen so you can sing along with me, um, if you would. And uh, yeah, this is called God of This City. This is, a, I think, really pertinent for what we're doing this morning. So join me in singing this. God of this city, you're the king of these people, you're the lord of this nation, you are. You're the light in this darkness, you're the hope to the hopeless, you're the peace to the restless, you are. There is no one. There is no one like our God. There our God. The greater things have yet to come. The greater things have yet to come, and greater things are still to be done in this city. The greater things have yet to come, and greater things are still to be done in this city. things that you have in store for our community today and throughout from coming spawning out of what we will be engaging in with you thank you for giving us this nudge to partner in prayer to intercede for our community to, to bring a blessing to, to step into the authority that you've given us to love on our community and to see your kingdom come and your will be done in Sault Ste. Marie as it is in heaven so let it be so 
in Jesus' name. Amen? I just want to remind you, so in a, probably about 10 minutes or so, you'll be heading out to wherever you will be starting, either, you know, if you're at home, at home. Um, there are some that will be starting in a certain location. I want to make sure you guys know we're not gathering, okay? We're just, we're kind of meeting from a distance so we can see each other, get the comfort of like, okay, we know we're here and we're ready to walk and do our thing. Um, so get ready to do that. And uh, so we'll be starting our, formally starting our prayer walk at 1030. So have fun, everybody. Just tap into the Lord and um, yeah, be blessed.